Hello, folks. Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for taking the time to check out today's tips and tricks video. So, folks, today I want to do something that's a little bit different. We're going to talk about the batch render functionality in X Lights, and uh, we find the back uh, the uh, the batch render tool here. It used to be, it used to be back in the past that it was a separate. Uh, executable file that was found in the XLights folder, but now it's actually built into XLights, I believe, and it is part of the tools menu. So we're going to get into that. But before we do, I want to tell you about the awesome PPD Sequence Club. When you join the Sequence Club, you you get with your monthly membership subscription, you get four preset effects that work amazing with the warp effect as well as the new kaleidoscope effect. Also, you get one free sequence, not well, you, you pay for the membership, so you get one sequence each month, and this month happens to be the Lego sequence, which is very popular, uh, and you also get access to the monthly vendor specials from companies such as Boss Goyo, Crockett Fantasy Lights, Wired Watts, Pixel Sequencing, Scott LED, and more. You can save hundreds and hundreds on your yearly build purchases through the PPD vendor specials discounts. So go check it out once you get signed up for the PPD Sequence Club. So with that today, we're going to go through a little bit of the batch render and some of the hiccups you might run into whenever you do go through this functionality. So one of the reasons why batch render exists is because a lot of us have a number of sequences and as we make changes in our uh, program uh, throughout the season, let's say we change our, our setup tab, our layout tab, uh, or we change sequencing within. Uh, and we, we rearrange some groups. Some things, some things can happen when we add or remove uh, se uh, sequence models from different groups. And when we render the sequence after making a change, let's say we took these spinners out of this group. So then, the, then this, this group now doesn't have that, uh, or that model now shouldn't have the sequencing that was directed to it, uh, or it should because you added in more props into a group. So batch render helps whenever you've decided at the last moment to add that extra window frame in or add in two or three more snowflakes or maybe even add in one or two more arches or some whatever, whatever you're adding in. Or if you make a decision to move something or take something away, it didn't work out very well or you were just having trouble with it and you said, forget it, I'm just going to delete it. Um, when you make changes to your groups, whenever you change names here, uh, and that we'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit, how that affects the batch render as well. So... If we go in and we do hit the the uh, tools menu and go to the batch render, what what we see here is absolutely everything in my current file, my current folder that is able to be um, uh, uh, rendered. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, select some of the sequences that can be rendered, and we will. Um, uh, we'll go ahead and do a uh, bulk, uh, we'll do a render while I'm doing a screen capture. I wonder how that will affect the uh, uh, recording here, but it should work in any event. We'll just select four sequences there, and we'll click the OK button. So what's going to happen is x is going to physically open up every one of these sequences. It's going to complete a render. You can see the render bar here at the uh, across the bottom. If you click on the render bar, you can look at the actual progress, and you can kind of see where things are held up. You'll see it slow down. Uh, now, so here's one of the hiccups that you'll find whenever you are doing a batch render, and this is why it's kind of important that you stay at your computer and don't walk away from it. Sometimes you have new se or sequences that have an autosave file that is newer. So bulk edit, or, uh, I'm sorry, so bulk render, batch render, will notify you whenever you have a file that you left open and had an autosave that was after your previous save. And if you'd like to open that up, you can click yes. So the batch render is great, but the challenge is, is these little pop-ups might show up. Uh, another functionality that you'll notice is if you do change from one model name to another, from one uh, iteration of X lights to another, it's going to ask you how you want to handle it. Um, like it's, it'll say, let's say you delete your candy canes out and you're not sequencing those anymore. Um, it, it may, and you change the name to, let's say, Candy Cane Pixel. 
uh, because you want to denote that it's a pixel candy cane. If you change the name, you're, you're effectively breaking a link in the sequencing, and Xlights will prompt you then, uh, it, it, what would you like to do with the uh, sequencing that's in this sequence, and you'll follow through with it before any of the batch rendering can occur. Uh, you can see that there are some kind of hiccups that you may be aware of uh, or you may not be aware of. And that's why it's important for you to be actively participating in the batch render. Now, the reason why is not just because there could be an error with the um, with with which file they want you to select. It could also be that you broke the link with a uh, old sequence. Like you you let's say in 20, 2018 you decided to run uh, pixel candy canes, like I said before, and you changed the name in twenty eighteen to 2019's name, which is which is Candy Canes, let's say you switch the name around, then x may you may not have gone in and done that in your 2019 setup and opened that sequence and fixed that break. You can go in and you can map that, um, that uh, sequencing from the old name to the new name. And Bulk Edit will open the sequence and it will find that problem for you and you'll be able to fix it at that point. So that's why it's important to pay attention to them. Uh, a number of the sequences that I ran last year were uh, brand new sequences that didn't have an issue with any of the uh, of the of the names broken, but my issues basically came from the sequences I brought in from 2016, 2017, and before that, because a lot of those I had updated the names of some of the props, I had changed some groups around, and they all needed rendered. But the problem was is that I was rendering them for the first time after breaking the old name. So it is important to play an active role whenever you are doing your um, your complete. Uh, uh, batch rendering and if you do if you do get up and walk away remember you need to go back and look at it to see if there are any prompts that you may have to follow through with so folks that's it for today I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you leave a like hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications for every video that we put out on the YouTube channel the rest of the videos are all housed on the pixelprodisplay.com website where you can go log in and view or search for any of the videos of any topics that you might need at any particular time. So thanks again for joining us, folks, and we will see you in the next video. Down through the chimney with those and me. Sam, and every time it rains, it rains. <laughs>